Having just heard about the state of climate change solutions from our panellists, I'm thinking that there are more opportunities than there are challenges. So we heard from Tesco how they're really bringing climate change into the heart of their business and realising cost savings, increased market share, and this is proving to be really beneficial for the business. Also we heard from a young entrepreneur who's using a climate change solution as a way of building market share. And we heard that actually politically it might not be all the doom and gloom that we might think. So I think we're heading in the right direction. I just don't think it's fast enough to meet the scale of the challenge. We're shuffling towards climate change solutions and market-based mechanisms. We really need to speed up. So what that means politically is that the European Union needs to just get smarter about incentivising sustainable finance, about setting a price of carbon that makes investment flow in the right directions and rewards those businesses that are taking climate change seriously. And we need more businesses to take the lead on this, more businesses to put climate change at the heart of their management and to create new sustainable business models. And we need the consumer to come with business and government on this journey. They're not innocent bystanders. We've all got a stake in our future. So for consumers, that's about small changes to behaviour, it's about making slightly different choices and it's about making low carbon living a reality.